All right, so let me show you another way in which you can make a art bot. This one, I'm not gonna actually gonna use markers for the lid, for the legs. Um, I'm actually gonna use just clothes pins, um, just because, well, I'm running out of markers. So we're gonna use this. You could tape these, you could glue these on, you could do rubber bands, whatever you wanna do. Actually, these might hold pretty well without anything, uh, depending on the kind of strength of clothes pins that you get. These are just standard, nothing special. So we're gonna try just without anything, just for the time being, but I think this will this will actually hold. But one of the things that I know that comes up time and time again, um, kids wanna figure out ways in which to easily turn things on and off. And so I think that's a very valid question. And so what we wanna do is we want to be able to help them make that happen. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually going to use a little bit of glue and I'm going to glue on this popsicle stick just to give me something to hold this bad boy on. So I'm gonna stick this guy on just like so. So he's on and he's connected. Now what that'll do, it'll give me an opportunity to get some leverage to get my motor further out. And I'm going to stick my motor actually right on the outside here, clear on the edge, which I think will just help get some more movement with our robot. And so I could tape him down. Um, I'm actually probably just going to put a little dab of glue on him. Uh, but you could just wrap some tape around him to make it safe, and that way you don't, it's not permanent. But that's what I'm going to do here for this. Now, the really cool thing that I want to show you is this. So you could take a AA battery and we can test to make sure that it actually works first, make sure it has power. And so I'll just hold it to the end of this battery. And so, okay, so this one works. I know you probably can't hear it, but I know it's going. So check out what we can do. We can create a really awesome switch with our robots. And we just have to use a little bit of creativity. So what I've got is some foil. So we just take some standard foil and we just rip this piece here, just like so. What we can actually do is just rip it in half, just kind of like a one by one inch square. And we're just gonna fold this guy up, just like so, just to kind of make it thicker. Um, and this is gonna act as a, as a switch here in just a minute. And what we can do is we can create a really easy way to turn our robots on and off so we're not killing our batteries. And I know that's that's always a big request. So so there's one right there. I'm gonna go ahead and do this again for the other one. And it's just folding these over just over and over again. So we got two pieces like that. And then I'm just gonna use a little bit of duct tape. So just two strips that I already have. And check out what we're gonna do. We're gonna put a piece of foil, because foil's conductive. It's gonna allow the electricity to flow through to give us battery. So I just kind of stick it over on one edge right here and keep one flap out. And then I'm going to put this duct tape and stick it on so nice and tight so this flap stays connected to the positive side of that battery. And then we're gonna do the same thing for down here on the other side of the battery. So I'm gonna do that. The other piece of duct tape, wrap that on nice and tight. And now we've got some options here. Now we've got two little tabs for our robot. So now what I can do, I could tape this guy on. I'm actually just gonna use some hot glue just for the time sake of this video. Ah, it's falling over. So this is why probably a good thing I didn't permanently place my, my legs yet so I get the weight balance figured out just right. All right, and then once this dries, how do I get these wires connected to here? Well, we're just gonna use some standard alligator clips. So I can just clip one to one peg of this wire on the battery, or to the motor, and the other right here to the battery. And we'll do the same thing with the other wire. Clip. And clip. And then we should be in action. And so now my robot is gonna be able to get some power here 
when I make that move. And so I don't have, I mean, I have enough power here. I got a lot going on with these legs. So we might have to tweak that a little bit to get it going. And so I'm seeing here that these legs may not work. So I'm gonna have to adjust those a little bit. But this is a really easy way to create an on off switch. Just clip that on, boom, we got power. Now it's off. So if you're looking for a way to preserve your batteries, this is one way to do so. And so if I need to crank some more power, one, I can either adjust my legs or I could actually do this, check this out. So I'm just gonna line these two guys up nice and tight with this tape. This is just like a cheap man battery holder and you'll see this in some future videos. Okay, just like so. And then I'll tape foil strip back on here all right then I'll just, this is where the popsicle stick comes in handy because I can just glue both these batteries down right on this panel like so all right and now we should have plenty of power now we've got three volts coursing through our motor and we should be in great shape Yeah, so now we can add our legs and boom, away we go with our robot. All right, so then once you got your, once you got your wires attached, you just want to go through. You want to make sure you add your end piece here so you have something that spins to create the movement. So I'm just going to do my tried and true small little clothespin here that I've always used. Now one of the things when I'm waiting for that to dry that uh, you may notice that I've added and you may need this too, it just depends on the connection that you've built. I've added, if you can see, a rubber band and this is just holding the connections together to kind of bring a grip so I've just taped on here just a rubber band to hold that in place it just helps strengthen the connection that we have so then when I go to plug this in we should be and with those two batteries we got a lot more power and speed and momentum so now I can go through and add what I want and when I want to turn it off I just unclip one of these alligator clips. So there's just another way there. Two batteries linked together, end piece here on a popsicle stick. And we've just used the foil as little lips, making it easier to turn on and off our brush pot. So now that we've taken a look at that one, let's jump into another type of build. Just to give you one more thing to think about in your creation.